Um, viewers of Blues Moose TV, as we call it now, um, welcome. We're uh, well in front of the Blues Festival in Tegel in the Doolhof. And with me is Lynn Jackerman. And she is going to prepare for herself for to the show. Yeah. St. Jude, the lead singer of St. Jude, the blues. It's going well for you. Just released a CD and everybody's talking about it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going really well. And we're doing a lot of what we love the most, which is performing live and just, you know, just getting out as much as we can. And we're looking forward to today to meeting some new people, hopefully making some new fans, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's all really, really good at the moment. You said uh, performing live is uh, you love to do most. That means um, recording a CD is a struggle? No, I absolutely love recording and it's, it's, it's like seasonal, it's like once you've had winter you're ready for the spring, you know, if you've, if you've been out touring a lot then you're ready to go into the studio and to record and to kind of be able to listen to everything like a pin drop, you know, but the two complement each other, you know, once you've done an album and you're in the studio for months, the next thing you want to do is just get out and get on the road, so. The creative process of writing the songs, how would it um, in St. Jude, who's the main writer of the songs? Um, Basically, Adam and I, Adam the guitarist, he, him and I write, he comes to like me with uh, more ideas. I mean, I'll be more like lyrics and melodies and things like that. But um, between the two of us, we've got a lot of different influences. So we bring a lot to the table. I'll bring more like blues, soul, gospel. He'll bring more like, you know, it be rock and things like that. So it's, it's, it's a, just a really good combination and it's worked ever since we met. So The lyrics? The lyrics, yeah, the lyrics, I mean, they can be based on, you know, stories like Soul on Fire, we wrote that in Nashville, and that was based on a, like a, a third person character, and another stuff is just personal, and it's written like from our own personal experiences. When uh, St. Jude started to play, who, who said we want to play blues, rock, or we, we, that's the kind of music we want to play? We never actually ever sat there and said this is what we want to play. We just sat there and wrote. Adam and I, just an acoustic guitar, and just said, right, let's just write and let's just see what comes out. And, and initially, let's just see if it works. So it, it was born of that. And then with, if you listen to the album, Diary of a Soul Fiend, you'll see that there's a lot there's a lot of you know peaks and troughs. It can be very gentle and it can be very acoustic, very down, but it can also be very loud and very full. And we wanted to embrace that in the music, which is why it's like full band and very rocky, so that it can you can have everything, you know. Yeah, if, if I listen to the music, uh, sometimes there's so much power. Do you prepare yourself before you go on stage, or just you stand there and sing and everything is going with the flow? Um. Well, I've never had a singing lesson and I've never had coaching, so I've basically just learned about my voice through using it. So for me, it's like now I'm starting to get into much better habits. I mean, the more you're gigging, we're gigging a lot more, we're um, playing a lot longer sets, and you just find that when you sing the way I sing, which is quite powerfully, um, you need to warm up. So now I'll do things like I take certain, you know, juices, herbs, and then just, you know, I'll probably try and sing for a bit before I go on just to warm up so that the voice doesn't just go in cold, you know. Is that, um do you learn that through the time because your voice had sometimes collapsed or is it just precaution? Well you just read up on stuff and then you just realise that you know for me it's a spiritual <laughs> experience and I'm just like yeah you know and it just makes me feel amazing and alive but then you kind of go but it is part of the body and it's a muscle and if you use anything quickly without warming it up you're going to strain it and my biggest fear is ever straining the voice so I just I want to look after it because it looks after me. So. <laughs>
Hey, you're now in Holland, and um, well, you, 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 you made your mark in in in, uh, in England because mm -hmm. we heard somebody famous has liked to play with you. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, you have to build up your new audience. Of course, you do. You have um, to introduce yourself. How do you do it? Just play a lot. Yeah, you play a lot. You get um, you do radio shows. You uh, you get write-ups in magazines, you get interviews, you um, sell CDs after gigs and hope that if somebody came down and, and loved it that they'll then play it to somebody else and it's all word of mouth and you just build it up. I don't think you can ever cheat that step of just working, gigging, work and going back to the places and going back and just building up and you know getting a proper fan base. And blues is to be known as a difficult market, it's not to be hyped and marketed like uh, the, no. the other MTV. But it's a very uh, sound strong like alive market as well, and not not everything that's strong and alive is necessarily massively advertised, which is what's so beautiful about it, because people feel that it's theirs and that it's not just shoved down their throat on an advert or a billboard or something. So. It's got its own power. Is it um, is St. Jude is going full for it, or does it, anybody has a day job left, or are you still want to make your mark full time singing? We do. I mean, I I do. Um, I can do some vocal sessions sometimes, and you know, do what you have to do to survive. I've probably done most jobs there are. <laughs> you know, always put you know myself work for a living. So you just do what you can. But at the moment, it's very busy, and it's it's just going really well. So we're doing it. You know, a lot. So that's great. Do you make um, a sort of timetable? St. Jude is now here, and in a couple of years we want to be there. A plan. A plan. Yeah, yeah. We've done that, especially since the release of the album, you have to do that. And obviously, you know, if you want to get on a festival or you want to get a review or a release, you're looking at like weeks, months in advance. So you have to plan to make sure, like, the festivals for next summer, we need to all be booked by February, March, for example. So it's, yeah. Music likes also. For. Yeah, yeah. Because every musician has to be full. Full part will go into it because anybody says oh, I can't rehearse, I don't instrument, but I go on tour with you. That you that ain't gonna work. You have to be motivated. You have to love what you do, and you have to have more belief in it than anyone. Um, your personal inspiration, the blues singer or singers, it can be female or male. Which way? Do we have the thing then for Lynn Jackerman? There's so many singers I love. I come from a blues gospel thing, so I would love Aretha Franklin, Etta James, but I love BB King. I love, I love all the all the stars from that kind of time, you know. So Freddie Jackson, all of them. But it's um, for me the the one I've grown up listening to the most is probably Aretha, to be honest. Yeah. Which again is kind of soul blues, you know. And she does some amazing jazz as well. But her voice is yeah incredible. Lynn, uh, thank you so much for this uh, small interview, but. If you start small, you can always get bigger. That's my... Yeah.